What's up guys, welcome back to the Blind Box Hunt. Today I have for you a pretty big haul, mainly because it's a Kingdom Hearts haul. So what I have is almost the new uh, set for Kingdom Hearts, a couple of Hot Topic uh, variants, Fall Convention exclusive, Funko Insider Club exclusive, <laughs> and just so you know, in the regular set, you can get Sora, Soldier Heartless, uh, Sora from Monsters, Inc., Goofy from Monsters, Inc., and Donald from Monsters, Inc. That's in the regular set. That's about the same. In the, in like, a kind of second wave-ish for the Kingdom Hearts 3 set, you can get, uh, Riku, Mickey, and Ven, Ventus? Vanitas? Ventus. So you can get those three in the second set. I didn't get Mickey, I didn't get Riku, and I didn't get um, Vanitas. But I did get all the variants of Sora. I got um, Donald, Goofy, and then I got the Heartless as well. Because I really think they need to come out with more Heartless, to tell you the truth. Because that, that right there. The fact that we got two of the basic ones. Ooh. Alright, so let's actually start off with the base set here, and I'll get into the exclusives. So with the base set, you get Goofy, Donald, and Sora. And a Heartless. You also get um, a regular Sora with this, but... um. It looks so much like the Fall Convention exclusive. I think the only difference is the outfit. So in the regular Sora one, you get his original outfit. And in the Fall uh, Convention exclusive, you get his uh, Guardian form outfit. Oh, you'll get two different Keyblades too. Maybe I have to hunt that down. I may actually hunt that down with uh, Mickey, uh, Riku, and v Vanitas. I'm probably saying that right, wrong. So, um... If you guys know how to say that, correct me. But let's start off with this one. The Heartless. So, the last Heartless we got, we got was like a mini Heartless. There we go. No, a mini tiny baby Heartless, basically. It's um basically the first Heartless that you encounter. This is pretty much the second Heartless you can encounter. And again, I would really love to see um some boss Heartlesses and some nobodies and stuff like that like this is a line that you can expand with the characters just with the monsters alone but this is um the soldier right yeah soldier heartless and he is pretty tell you the truth the heartless really do um come into pop form a bit better because they do have like soulless eyes and stuff and it works it really does work for the body and everything and yeah, it's a pretty basic Soldier Heartless. It's a really cool one to have. I really like um, the little eyes on top of the helmet and how the mouth of the helmet is open. And then you actually see the actual Heartless in it. That was always a really cool design. And um, the shoes with the curl up, the little claws, and even like little chains on them. And then that classic um, little design for him not having a heart. But in all truth, it does look pretty basic right here. So there's that one. Put that on the ground. The next one, let's open up Goofy, actually. So, if you don't know, with Donald and Goofy's, um, depending on which ones, they don't really stand up that well. So with this one, they actually gave him a stand. This Goofy, well, I mean, with the Heartless, they gave him a stand. So that's cool, even though I think he would stand up pretty well by himself. With Goofy, he does not have a stand, so this is the Monsters, Inc. version. So in Kingdom Hearts 3, they actually added in Monsters, Inc. Oh, that, he stands pretty nicely, yo. So this is what Goofy would look like in that universe, if he was a monster. He basically keeps most of the same body shape, I would say. He has, of course, a different vest, but I don't know if that's because of the world or... That's just the type of clothing he's going to be wearing in the game. Because when I record this video, the game is still not out. But we're in the month where it's going to come out. So that's going to be very cool to see. Um, he does have two different eye colors. One blue, one red. 
and then one's bigger than the other. His eyes are more like snail-like. He has some um, appendages in the back. I do really like how he, they did his um, body though, the feet and the hands. It's in the style that I really like drawing where the hands are bigger than everything else and the feet are bigger than everything else. But it does like, I feel like Goofy does look like that already. It's just like now he has claws on him. But that is Goofy. He even has his uh, classic hat still there. So that's cool. Let's actually move this a little bit more to the center so you guys can see him. Next up, I have Sora Monster Inc. I do really like when they do like different versions of um, the worlds. So like, I have a Halloween Town version. I have the... What did I did? So there's the Royal Court. You have Halloween Town. You have the Tron version. And then their original version so far. I love when they do this. I love when they do the set of them like in the different worlds. I would love to see them tackle the Little Mermaid, Mermaid World. The Lion King one if they can. And um, what's another one where they had really cool outfits in? Ooh, there's just like, there's some worlds where they had to like really blend in. Just like the Monster Inc. world. So Monster Sora. He kind of looks caddish to me, to tell you the truth. I know his hair is supposed to be like more fin-like for him. Yeah, his hair is more mostly fin-like and then it's bright red. But like the fur texture and everything, it seems really caddish and stuff. He doesn't have a nose. And then he has like these elvish type ears that are like um, furred up. And then I'm assuming that the clothing is like his original clothing set no pants and then he has the monster ink uh sword so that is so uh, i really like that monster ink sword though i can't wait to play the game and see what other swords that they have i'm looks like i think the original sword has the original sword though the original keyblade oh so the keychain is a little boo monster if you guys uh remember the uh the monsters ink they dressed up Boo to look like a monster. That's what the keychain on the Keyblade is. And the Keyblade does have like the helmet from the world, the, um, from the world that they're in, the Monster Incorporated world. And then I'm guessing like the whole, um, mechanical sense of it, 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 it's probably like if you watch the movie, you'll see it. Um, it looks like, um, the thing that actually grabs the doors and then it actually has a red light on it as well that you'll see like on top of the door detailing it's always the detailing that's the best so next we have Donald so Donald seemed to have gotten a lot changed on him he got one eye here we go so Donald is notorious for not standing up because he does have that flat feet so let's see how well this one does oh this one stands up pretty well so that's good because um I think two of my Donalds don't stand up that well, or it's one Donald and one Goofy that doesn't stand straight that well. This one does, though, so that is really good. So, let's actually move these two back. And so in this one, it seems like Donald is going to be having his um, outfit from the game on. And then he has two little wings. He has um, bracelets, so with, which I do not know if it's... Uh, just for the Monsters Inc. world, or it's part of the game, but we'll know soon enough. The 29th man, which well, probably this video is going to come out on, to tell you the truth. You maybe even later. It looks like his tail has up to a point, like a little claw point. His bill actually has some fangs on it to make him look mon more monster like, and his tongue looks pretty snakeish. He has two doodads on the top of his head, little horns on the side, and then the one eye. Here's a bit of a closer look, but to tell you the truth, I'm probably going to do um, turns of all of them, so you'll have a really nice, good, close look at them while I'm explaining, and then I show you. Okay, so next up, we have three, actually, no, four exclusives. All of them are of my man, Sora. I have two Hot Topic ones. This one I actually had to order because they ran out in store. So you know how I was talking about how I have the Nightmare Before Christmas set? Well, 
besides just making, you know, the nightmarish version of them, they made a Christmas Town version of Sora, which I cannot remember for the life of me, but I'm thinking it was in... It has to have been Kingdom Hearts 2, right? Or was it in Kingdom Hearts? Yeah, I think it was in Kingdom Hearts where they went to Christmas Town that he... His outfit varied a little. So let's actually get him out. So he kind of keeps the look of Halloween Town, but his outfit does change. And it comes with a stand. So. Ooh, that paint. Uh, a little bit of a paint mishap right there, but it does really like, he still has that weird, um, eye shadow under his eye because he's just switching up from being in Halloween Town to Christmas Town. And, but his outfit is a lot different from the Halloween Town outfit. His fingers are still kind of pointy though. So he does have like the Christmas hat on and like a very, um, Christmassy type outfit, but it's all in black. And then he has one eye covered still because he's just switching from one town to the other town. So they're trying to, um, keep them the way that he looks. So one eye is covered like, um, when he was in Halloween Town, he had that one eye covered as well. So he does have a stand. It's really nice. It's a Hot Topic variant. So we're going to actually put these guys down. We're going to give you a closer a small closer look to it with him but it's really nicely sculpted it's really like a fun thing to put in there because he is going from one town to the other town like I said and this is technically part of the original Kingdom Hearts set because it says Kingdom Hearts on the box and not Kingdom Hearts 3 but I think this is a nice one I really do like I said I really do hope that they spread out with the variants of it and it seems like they're either gonna be Hot Topic or GameStop exclusives as well because um, it would, it's cool. It really is. I would still like to see them from The Little Mermaid. I would like to see them from The Lion King. Because those are two other ones that they could do. That would be kind of cool. And Donald's uh, some sort of tortoise in both, I believe. Or was he a bird in one? Tell me if you remembered from the game. I think Donald was a bird in Lion King. And Goofy became the tortoise. Oh no, wait. Goofy was a turtle both times. Donald was like an octopus type thing. Yeah, so I would like to see um, Funko Pops of that. But this is really nicely done. Seriously, that turn that you'll see. Um, the only thing I have trouble with is that there is like a big, a pretty visible uh, paint error where it where on his hair where it's supposed to be brown, but it's actually like the color of his skin instead. But there is that. And again, always the stands. They always don't want to stay, but they need to stay so you can stand up, my child. But really nice pop right there. Another Hot Topic exclusive for the Kingdom Hearts 3 is the Toy Story Sora. So this one's pretty cool looking. So, he doesn't come with a stand. But, oh, just those blocks though. I like how they made him more uh, blocky looking. And like his hair feels like it's going to kill you because it feels more pointy than before. He gets this cool keyblade hammer looking thing. Is, dude, does he get like new um, designs for the keyblade? Because like in um, Kingdom Hearts 2, he had two different like forms and the keyblades change a bit. And then in this one, he actually has like um, different uh, weaponry. That's going to happen. So is this like the sword get a giant hammer? Can I just swing people with a Buzz Lightyear woody hammer? And let's talk about this. It has like the Buzz Lightyear a symbol at the, not the base, but before the elongated part. Is that the base? I don't know. But it has that. And then it has a cactus. And then it has like another like more spaceship looking thing. And it has like woody sheriff stars in it. And the sword himself, he's really block looking super blocky and I, I really like that ooh this is really nice he has like a checkered patterns around all around him the red he does have like a look for the necklace that's on him I like how um the chest area is bigger than the waist and then after that it goes down to the legs 
and I do like I just like how all the squares are incorporated in this one this is a really cool Hot Topic exclusive again the stands it's like this is the biggest issue I have with Funko even when they give us stands they don't work all that well or you can't fit it into the hole so it can actually stays and you just saw what happened Sora was on his stand and he fell backwards which knocked off our soldier heartless which was on his stand and now I lost his stand oh no it's right here and then the other thing is that they only do it with one foot because even when they do it with like two feet you have to force the feet separated that came off just way too easily for me yeah so this um Kingdom Hearts Toy Story version that which is a Hot Topic exclusive is really cool Next up is the Fall Convention exclusive, which, again, I'm probably going to have to get um, the regular Sora now. Even though, the thing that kind of got me here, see this one comes with a stand too, but with one peg. So the thing that got me with this, the I really wanted this. I really wanted the Fall Convention exclusive. It is the Hercules. So what his uh, Keyblade is Zeus holding a lightning bolt. Then it goes into the blade, and then you have like some more lightning bolts, and then you get that. It's basically like classic Hercules for me, and I always love when they do Hercules stuff. And then his outfit is um mainly browns and stuff, browns and and I guess that's the guardian, but it was like it was the same pose as the regular one, so that's why I opted out and not getting the regular one. So he has browns, very nicely detailing like always for the Square Enix line. He has his chain. It's a really di uh, crazy difficult outfit with zippers and chains that Square Enix is known for. And then I like this. So if you look at um, Toy Story Sora, his outfit is different from this one. And I like it when it's like that. Um, I'm probably going to get, if I can find him, the regular Sora so we can do a comparison on outfit and pose. Because it seemed like the same pose and just a slightly variation of outfit color. But now I'm curious to see it different because they do have different keyblades. Oh, it has a Hercules medal at the chain. It's always really cute to see what the chain is. And then finally, this is a Funko Insider Club. I actually got this at a GameStop. So game, I guess GameStop has some Funko Insider Club stuff. I don't know. I don't know how that works. I would think it would be like a Funko exclusive on um, their site, right? But no, I found this at GameStop. Which is, as they call it, Sora Dual Blasters. So I was talking about this a little bit, how Sora has different weaponry in Kingdom Hearts 3. And this is one of them. So the Keyblades become Dual Blasters, and then he starts just shooting everything. So, I am assuming his outfit is what the regular outfit's going to look like. But I could be totally wrong as well. So what he has is two different blasters. And they actually both have pretty unique designs to them as well. One of them actually has a keychain part with a star on it. And then it has like, um, I want to say classic crossbow style. And then like some weird half pony horse tail thing right here. And this one like has, um, you can see the trigger very well on this one. And then again, it has like a pretty classic crossbow style. I would love to see how it um, works in the game. And then he's, he's in a pretty standard pose with his um, arms out so he can do the dual blasting. Um, what do you want to see uh, made from Kingdom Hearts? Personally, I want to see um, Funko do all the Heartlesses, all the Nobodies, all the Dream Drop little crazy characters from that whole thing from the DS, whatever it was, yeah. I would love to see all that, to tell you the truth, as pops, as collectibles, because you got stuff to work with there. The Heartlesses are already look like Pops because of their circular eyes. So you can work with that. And then it'll be cool to see like a Daddy Heartless. Uh, I don't know if he's actually called a Daddy Heartless. Giant Heartless that you saw in the beginning. That you fight in the beginning. It would be awesome to see him as a 6 inch Pop. It would be awesome to see um that weird um Knight thing as a 6 inch Pop. Like all the bigger Heartlesses as 6 inch Pops. That Iguana though, that can stay away. Um... The monkeys. Ooh, I'll have loved to see the monkeys as pops. And just like the weird 
I want to see how they execute the nobodies because the nobodies were more lengthy, to tell you the truth. But yeah, and I'll see you guys in the next blind box hunt. Bye.